another one this is uh, inspired 2016 so we would like to give you a free tarot card reading for everyone so the way we want to read the card is using the six card uh, major arcana layout so the first card would represent how you feel about yourself right now the second card will be representing what you most wanted at this moment and the third card will represent your fears out of the situation that you have been going through and the fourth card will represent what is going for you and the fifth card will represent what is going against you and the last card will be the sixth card represent the outcome according to your situations or the questions that you ask so all of the spread will be presented based on your zodiac signs that means your sun sign rising sign your moon sign or whatever sign you have as the one that you hold dear in your deepest heart so let's begin the reading i hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, youtube thanks Hello Pisces, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 6th until the 12th of June 2016. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the strength. You feel that despite the challenges you have been faced with in the past, present or future, you will find the strength and courage to succeed. Whether you are recovering from ill health, a broken marriage or relationship, or challenges at work, you will find the willpower to come out on top. If you are looking to give up any bad habits, such as smoking or drinking for example, this is a good time to do it. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is the Hierophant. Right now you want to have someone around you that you can trust and confide in, knowing that they won't let you down. There are moral issues here, knowing right from wrong, and you may feel that you need some advice or wise counsel from a teacher, priest, parent or someone you have a lot of respect for, in order to help you make the right decision. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the wheel of fortune. You are in fear of everything taking a turn for the worst. Perhaps you are experiencing a run of bad luck. You have to trust that most of what we fear never happens and just as the wheel of fortune turns downwards against you, it will naturally turn upwards again and bring you good fortune with it. This difficult phase will pass. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is, the hanged man. With patience this passive time, this time of feeling in limbo and indecision, will pass and then you will know what decisions to make, what or who to let go of and how to move on. Whatever self-sacrifice you have to make, you will feel a better and stronger person for it. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the judgment. If you allow fear to stop you from taking a chance or a new possibility then you will lose out. Do not ignore the new opportunities being presented to you, a decision, new job or relationship could change your life for the better. Do not refuse change when change at this time is vital feel the fear and do it anyway. Outcomes may well be delayed. However, this is a time for positive action and not passiveness. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Empress. This is a truly creative and fertile time. Expect the best if you are considering having a child creating a new job or business opportunity or starting a creative project. The Empress symbolizes abundance, joy and happiness, and reassurance, 
a firm foundation for future progress. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is Gracefully Aging. You receive this card because heaven can see your inner and outer beauty and wants you to appreciate your divine magnificence, too. This means that you allow yourself to see the beauty that growing older represents. The more you hold positive thoughts and feelings about the aging process, the more you glow with inner peace and sage wisdom. Your maturity signifies that you will be seen as an elder, and others will look to you for answers. This is an honor, which is one reason why this card is guiding you to age gracefully, meaning that you embrace your hard-won years of learning. Although you may feel much younger than your chronological years, graceful aging means that you are comfortable with yourself in every way. Some more additional meanings of the card is Caring for aging parents or other elders, learning from an elder, a change in beauty care routines, and preparing for retirement. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.